Hello, I'm Jordan Morris, and this is KLOL, the Internet's local news. Today's top story is video games. People like them. A new video hit the net this week showcasing the new race coming to World of Warcraft. If these new panda characters are popular, WoW may release other cuddly, non-threatening characters like the Lil Bubbites, the Michael Sarans, and me in my Jam Jams. Guild Wars 2 will be released this week, and it's about time I made a decision. Should I play Guild Wars, or should I try and get a girlfriend? Frankly, I only have time for one. It's time for Jordan, Counter Jordan. <laughs> Joining me via satellite from the den of his palatial estate is me, Jordan Morris. Thanks for having me, Jomo. Also via satellite from my mom's basement, it's myself, Jordan Morris. Great to be here. If we could wrap this up before Aqua Teen Hunger Force starts, that'd be great. Jordan, do you and your friends want sandwiches? No! Mom! God! I'm a grown-up! Let's get into the debate. Should I get Guild Wars 2, or should I get a girlfriend? I am firmly on the side of Guild Wars 2 here, Jordan. It's got an improved graphics engine and impressive new combat mechanisms. Uh, look, I just want to start off by saying I hate this other Jordan and everything he represents about me. Well, I think we can all agree on that. I've been called an unfable disaster. Listen, I am staunchly in favor of getting a girlfriend on this one. I mean, at this point in my life, I'm more interested in corking a bottle of wine and making love with a beautiful woman than in <laughs> pretending to make potions. I mean, that's just me. <laughs> you're completely misrepresenting the issue. Sure, it's all boob touching at first, but then you're forced to go to Margarita Mondays with their annoying work friends, and you miss Breaking Bad. Interesting points on both sides. Thanks, guys. The Republican National Convention is starting next week, and... Oh, God, you know, I'm sorry. It's actually time to take a little commercial break. Hello, Republicans. My name is Glenn Lisbon, the owner of the Illicit Escape Gentlemen's Club in downtown Tampa. We know you'll be in town for the Republican National Convention, so come on down to our RNC. Really nude chicks. <laughs> We've got special treats all convention long, specifically for you Republicans. Everyone, everyone, listen up. Let's roll. Come on. First off, no more hip hop or hair metal. We're replacing all our music with Baptist choir. They hit the Ted Nugent and John Philip Sousa marches. Sexy, huh? You bet it is. But that's not all. For the whole week, if one of my girls falls on the pole or ODs on cocaine, it's coming out of my pocket. No Obamacare for these ladies, right? <laughs> yeah. Bring it. Bring some more. Come on. We won't have private dances, only privatized dances. Mmm. And for all you log cabin Republicans out there, spend a magical evening in the repression room with Adam and Steve. Ha! I'll tell your wife we're just hunting buddies. Hunt me. Woo! And the girls will even have special outfits on. From Thomas Jefferson to Ronald Reagan to the U.S. Constitution. Keep your laws on my body. <laughs> so come on down. We support a woman's right to choose to show her boobies. Yeah! From your bus! I'm Mitt Romney and I approve this message. Oh, now with another in-depth report, Liza Skinner. Are you drunk? A little bit. Ugh. Instagram is full of amateurs, but only one master. Flam Vendors, get that away from me. Mm -hmm. Flam Vendors is a pioneer. All right, the duck's about to get in the pond. He's the world's most respected right. Instagram artist. You ready, you ready to duck? You ready to duck out? Give me a quack. Quack. Whisper quack. Quack. Scream quack. Quack! Bring that. Bring it. You go through Instagram, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same. And then I'm excited, this is new. And that's, it's fresh. Yeah. That's yeah. a flam vendors. That's a flam vendors. Um, right here? <laughs> One hour pracking. It's not parking, it's pracking. Right, it's from uh, my series called Misspelled Street Signs. Yeah, I received a, a grant of several hundred dollars from Bank of America to finish this series. From, uh, from Bank of America? That's what I said. In the weeks leading up to his show, 
Flam is at his highest levels of stress and creativity. Okay. Oh, my monitor! Who rigged this? You f Okay, what the f is that? That was a turkey face. That's a little more duck. No, no one wants to f a turkey. Everyone wants to f a duck. Everyone. Some of Flam's popular gallery shows have included Inside the Mind, Examine, and finally, DVR listings. My inspiration usually comes to me, especially after I order it at my favorite sushi restaurant. Who lays out their ginger like that? Let me get a shot of that ginger. Oh, lay it out like that. Lay it out like you had it just now. I Instagram, I don't Insta f around. Flam's empire has grown too large for one man to handle. Like Andy Warhol before him, he now instructs a number of assistants who have come to work under his tutelage. Congratulations on achieving abject failure. Did you take this? It's not a good one. You used uh, Walden yeah. as your filter? Yeah. I've, I've got one rule in life. Never use Walden! Never use Walden! Flam did use Walden once for an entire show. Trying to get in here? That's just true. This is one of those gotcha. Changed. This is one of those gotcha interviews. But you did once do a show in in Walden. I, that that is something that and happened in the you past. You did once shit your diaper. It's the diarrhea of filters. You can put your sword away. There's blood on it. it Take me to the gulag. I I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Accepted. The show was a resounding success. Barely anyone showed up, but he got thousands of likes on the app. And that's another day in the life of the internet. And we're back. Well, that's it from us. We now leave you with a supercut of video game freakouts. What the f Dude, I looked in the damn corner! Okay, really? You just jump into me? That's cool. F you. I can't even log on to the f What is it? What? Who came back? Who came back, motherfucker? What's wrong, TV? Who rigged this? You f Yes. You are interested in DTF. I don't know what DTF is. You're interested. I'm gonna guess it's out of habit because it doesn't itch a fidget and I'm switching my position to my wetness on my left butt cheek. Piss because I know my stupid phone is gonna ring again and I wanna. Haven't we all at some point in the evening settled for a bag of crack? <laughs>